Hi, and welcome to another episode of my Learning Lightroom series. Only in this video, we're going to be starting in Photoshop. Now in this episode, I want to show you how to turn your own signature into a watermark brush in Photoshop, and then how to install that image as a watermark in Lightroom. So, lots to do, so let's make a start. First, I need my signature. Well, to get this, I've got a thick black felt pen and I signed my name on a white piece of paper and then I scanned it into my computer and you can put anything you like on that but just for this I'm just going to use my signature and here's the, the image that I ended up with if I just show you it if I've got a scan I called it signature scan and if I double click that that should open it up in Photoshop and there we are now it's the wrong way around so what I'll do is I'll turn that round. So I'm going to go to image and image rotation and 90 degrees clockwise. And next I need to crop it. I don't need all this space around the outside of it. So I'm going to get my crop tool and I'll see if I can just crop it in. So I'm just on the outskirts of it. So something like that is good enough. Now, just so I can see what the quality of my final cutout is going to be, because I'm going to be cutting out this black text from the white background, I'm just going to put a neutral fill layer under here, which is basically just grey, so I can see if I get a load of white pixels around the outside. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to click on the add new layer icon, and it'll add the layer underneath for me. And now I'm going to fill that with grey, so I'm going to go over to the edit menu. I'm going to choose fill. I'll just let you see the dialog and I'm just going to select 50% gray and click OK. And that puts a gray layer underneath and it'll just let me see through what, what, what kind of cutout that I've got. So I'm going to click back on me, my layer zero, which has got my signature on. And now I'd like to, to basically increase the contrast a little bit on this to make it easier to cut out. I'm going to do that with an adjustment. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'll try levels. And here I've got the levels adjustment and I'll just bring my white point in a little bit and then I'll pull my midtones up a little bit just to make it nice and dark but not to try and darken the any pixels, stray pixels that might be in the background. I think that's good enough. I'm going to click OK. Now my selection tool of choice here is going to be the colour range command. So I'm going to go up to the select menu and I'm going to select colour range. And here I'm just going to accept the defaults but I'm going to push the fuzziness right over to 200. See if I, if I bring the fuzziness down it selects less and less. I want to select most of that that I can so I'm going to put that fuzziness right over. And I'm just going to click OK. And I've now made a selection of all the dark areas in the text. So I need to delete all the white that surrounds it now. Well, at the minute, I've got I've got my name selected. So what I want to do is inverse that selection so that all the white is selected, but my name isn't selected. So I'm going to do that by going up to Select and Inverse. Now I've got all the outside selected. So if I now press the backspace key, I will delete all that white. And if I now do Control and D to deselect the selection, you should see that I've got a pretty good cutout. Can't see any white pixels hanging over the edge of that at all against that gray background. And I'll just turn that off so you can see. So all I've done is just to give me an idea with that gray. Now. I know it's pretty good, so I can drop that in the bin. I don't need it. So next, let's save this out as a brush. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the Edit menu. I'm going to go down to Define Brush Preset. I'm then going to give it a name. And I'll call it Ken Sig. And I'll call it Black. Ken Sig Black. And I'll click OK. And now if I go and select my brush tool and then I go up and select a brush, 
you'll find that the last brush is the one I've just made, which is this K Fisher. You can see it there. Okay, so let's go and find an image. We'll file and open recent. And we'll try one of these. That looks good. I can now use my square bracket keys to make my signature smaller. And I can just go along and I can stamp it by clicking once on my image. If I want to change the colour, I just change that foreground colour so I can stamp it out as red. And if I want to change it to another colour, let's say a blue, I can stamp it out as blue. So it's a very quick way of just stamping on a little bit of a watermark or, or a branding on your images. Well, that's good for Photoshop. But how can we use that brush as a watermark in Lightroom? Well, we can't directly use the brush. First, we have to save it out as an image. And in this case, it has transparent pixels around it. So we need to save it out as a PNG file. So I'm going to go back to this image that we used to save. And I'm going to do File and Save As. I'll save it onto my desktop. I'll call it Ken Sig Black. I'm going to save it out as a PNG file so it preserves all that transparency around it. And then I'm going to click Save. And you get PNG options come up and I'll just click OK. Right now this is going to look OK against a light image background but what happens if we come up against a dark image background? Then obviously a black signature against dark isn't going to be too good. So I'm, I'm going to create a white signature now. And I'm going to do that by making sure that white is my foreground colour. And I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut of Alt, Shift and Backspace. And what that's going to do is change all the black pixels to white pixels. So I've now got a white signature. I know you can't see it very well, but trust me, it's there. And then I'm just going to save that out. So I'm going to do File, Save As. I'll save it out again as a PNG, but this time I'll call it Ken Sig White. And I'll click Save again and OK. OK, let's switch over to Lightroom. So I'll just minimize Photoshop. And you can see here on the desktop, as well as my original scan, I've now got those two PNG files that we just created a Kensig white and a Kensig black. OK, let's go and find Lightroom. And now we're going to go into the watermark editor. Now we can go to edit and edit watermarks if you're on a PC or it could be Lightroom and edit watermarks if you're on a Mac. And we click to open up the watermark editor. Now there's a lot of this we're not going to use because we're going to select graphic because we're going to use a, a, a graphic that we've created. And then it's going to ask us to navigate to where we want to be. So we want to be on the desktop and I'm now looking for Kensig Black. Let's say start with. There we go. So I'm going to click on Kensig Black and choose it. And that's now going to load it in. So in this corner here, if I click and drag, you can see that I've got my black signature. Again, it doesn't look very good because it's against a dark background. And what we can do is you can decide where you want to put it. Do you need to offset it at all? So if you wanted it just offset a little bit and a little bit up, then you could set it there. You could anchor it in the top corner, in the middle, wherever you wanted to do it. I'll leave it in that bottom corner, just offset a little bit. And I'm now going to save this out as a custom watermark. So I'm going to save current settings as a new preset. And I'll call this Kensig Black. And I'll click Create. I'm now going to repeat the process, but for the white one, I'm going to choose. And then I'm going to scroll down 
to Kensey White. I'm going to choose that one. And there you can see again, it's come up, but this is uh, it's a light one. So this will be good against dark backgrounds. And I'm going to save that one out. Save current settings, a new preset. But I'll call this one Ken Sig White. And click Create. And I'm done in here now. I can cancel out of that. So now I can use these watermarks anywhere in Lightroom for any output. If I'm exporting, if I'm doing slideshows, prints, web module, anything like that. So let's just have a quick look at an example. Let's just imagine I say I want to print this image, but I want it watermarking. So I'm going to go into the print module. And on here you can see I've got an option to tick the watermarking box, which I have done. Now I'm going to choose this drop down here. And now I've got the two watermarks that I've just made in here. Well, this is a fairly dark image, so I'm going to choose Kensig White. And there it is. It puts it on and that will put it on every printed image, on every exported image. Whatever I do, it will watermark those images for me. So now you know how to use your own signature to make a watermark to use in Photoshop or in Lightroom. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are many more free resources. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.